The current situation in the Middle East is marked by increasing hostilities, particularly in Gaza and Lebanon, where Israeli airstrikes continue to claim lives. The Israeli military has intensified its offensive, targeting Hezbollah in Lebanon and Palestinian territories in Gaza. One of the most shocking incidents was a strike near Rafik Hariri University Hospital in Beirut, where at least 13 people, including a child, were killed. This hospital, Lebanon's largest public healthcare facility, was not in an area marked for evacuation. The Israeli Defense Forces, that is, IDF, defended their actions, claiming that the target was a Hezbollah terrorist site nearby, though the death toll and damage have drawn significant international attention. The humanitarian crisis in Gaza is worsening by the day. Aid organizations, including the United Nations, have expressed growing concern over the lack of medical supplies, food, and water in the Jabalia refugee camp in northern Gaza. Philippe Lazzarini, the head of the UNRWA, that is United Nations Relief and Works Agency, emphasized the grim reality on the ground. The smell of death is everywhere, Lazzarini stated, highlighting the dire conditions and the desperation of displaced Palestinians. Amid heavy Israeli bombardment, efforts to clear bodies and provide humanitarian relief have been severely hampered. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has arrived in Israel to engage in critical discussions aimed at finding a diplomatic solution. However, ceasefire talks between Israel and Gaza, as well as Lebanon, seem stalled, exacerbating the already volatile situation. Iran's involvement in the conflict is a looming factor with reports surfacing about potential Israeli retaliation to an Iranian missile attack. This is further inflamed by leaked U.S. intelligence regarding Israel's war strategies, which has added tension to Israel-U.S. relations. Iran's position remains one of confrontation, warning that the U.S. would be complicit in any Israeli aggression if it continues to provide advanced weaponry to Israel. These developments suggest that the conflict is far from over, and the potential for escalation involving Iran remains a significant risk in the broader regional struggle. So, the Middle East remains a tinderbox, with the ongoing violence affecting millions of civilians across Gaza, Lebanon, and Israel. International efforts for peace and a humanitarian resolution are critical, but the pathway to a ceasefire or resolution remains fraught with challenges. Stay subscribed for more videos.